Probably got inside my window. Awesome. Perfect timing. That seems like, yeah, perfect time for us to go live when babies start crying <laughs> outside your window. <laughs> Put the baby back. I swear to God, the baby is not in my apartment. I am not kidnapping children. Are you sure? I am positive. I wouldn't call a baby a children. Uh, I mean... Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Children say stupid things. Babies don't have the ability to say stupid things yet. Yeah, but they are stupid. Yeah, but not by their own... They're, they're player, so guess, stupid they don't even know how to talk yet. Like, don't yeah. be stupid. They don't know how to pee in a toilet. Yeah, fucking, fucking pee babies. pants. Yeah. Please nice job peeing your pants or baby. Stupid baby. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, baby. Oh, man. That's why child labor will never work out. You stupid. I don't know, man. Talk to fucking, like, what, South Africa about that? Where they have guerrilla soldiers, children mining wow. for diamonds and shit? Like, well, that doesn't involve them being smart. Or third world countries where they have them sewing shoes together for Nike. Well, they still don't have to be smart. Uh, yeah, I mean... If they were smart, they wouldn't be in that situation. Yeah, they'd be smart enough to get out of it. Yeah, and they'd be lawyers. <laughs> yeah. Lawyer babies. Stupid lawyers. Stupid non-lawyer babies. This <laughs> is... Uh, get past the bar. So we're like five minutes into this, and we've already probably just offended everybody. And we've already lost concept of how long five minutes is. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, I've been, I, I went back to playing, uh, Marvel Heroes. Still? Still? Yeah, I've, I've, you're still rocking that a lot? Like, I want to say, I mean, yes and no, like, I, I, I stopped playing it for a while there, uh, but yeah, I, I, I went back to it this last, I don't know, four or five days, maybe. I, I got my Iron Man up to level 60. Yeah, so you have two 60s now? Yep. Oh, shit. And I'm thinking, I don't know who... <sighs> Human Torch would be my next one, because he's level 45, but I... I don't like Human Torch anymore. Like, his powers and everything are cool, but he dies super fast. He's not tanky. Just a little skinny, frail guy. Uh, I don't know. I... I, I, I guess I could have him built wrong, but I, I don't think so. I mean, because I really didn't change it much. But trying to find a fucking, you know, a, 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 a build strategy guide or whatever you want to call it is a fucking chore for any character. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they keep those updated too much. No. Well, I, I think people got sick of it because they kept fucking re rearranging and changing the trees like it seemed like for I mean it's been a while now since I've got logged down there and haven't say that all your points have been given back but for a while there that seemed like it was do doing that every single time that I log in like I wasn't logging in daily or even weekly but like you know it seemed like every couple of weeks at least they were like oh you know here's your power points back or whatever they're called That's so fucking figure really? it out it's like, God damn it, like, why, you know, and I, I think, you know, at this point, you know, like, you go back and watch those old videos, and it's like, alright, none of this really makes sense because all this stuff is changing around now, and I'm sure people that were constantly making the same videos were probably got tired of, like, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna make a fourth fucking Human Torch video, like, fuck that. So. Yeah, a lot of games rebalance, but it seems like they do that every fucking week. Yeah, they, they they seem to do it a lot, but like I said, I mean, it has been a while now, so I'm kind of hoping that they've kind of got a structure down to the, where they're like, all right, finally we're good. Like, maybe new characters will have this happen, but hopefully, like, the main characters that they have now um, won't have that happen. Did you try playing as Dr. Doob yet? No. No, you can't play as Dr. Doom. That was the other thing I was going to say is uh, they seem to have made it so you can play as every single character there is up to level 10 except for Dr. Doom. Uh, is a new character that they want people to buy? Yeah, I, I was going to say, uh, it, 
I assume it's because he's the newest, and I don't know, who knows, maybe after a month or so, they'll, like, add him into that also, but uh, it, it is real nice that they finally made it so you can play as every character, because we've talked about that before, I don't know if it was on a podcast or not, but we've talked about how, like, you should be able to play as every character just to see if you want to play as them, or, you know, if you want to buy them or not. Yeah, you want me to drop five to ten bucks on a fucking character and let me try them out? Yeah, exactly. Even though it, I still drop five to ten bucks on characters and never tried them out. I, I, I'm trying to think if I ever did that. I mean, well, obviously I have because before you couldn't play as any of them after you picked a character, but, um, like, I don't think I, I was, I was never in a situation where I'm like, oh, that sucks, I shouldn't have bought that character. But, I mean, at the time I, I only bought a couple of characters maybe. But, yeah, so, like, I mean, there's, like, Cyclops I played as. I really enjoyed playing as him. Um, Storm is cool. Visible Woman's cool. Uh, Nova's cool. Uh, uh, a ton of characters are just, like, all right, yeah, I can dig playing as, as these characters. Some of them, like, Thor. I'm not too pleased with Thor. I don't know. I mean, maybe his later stuff is will be more fun. But, like, his his early stuff is really bad. Like, you called on lightning that strikes only one person. And running up and hitting people with a hammer. Like, and not having it being some kind of, like, earth-shattering fucking force to it or anything seems really, really fucking weak. Ah, he hasn't got his god power yet, so he just, uh... I don't know, hits him in the face. With, it's just like hitting somebody with a ball peen hammer. Yeah, kind of cool. and no, it should it should be like you're hitting fucking dynamite with that thing or something, like just explosive every time. I just want to call people on the head with a hammer. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's nice that they made it so you can play as all the characters and. I don't know who I'm going to work on next. I don't know. Maybe Human Torch, because he is level 45, but I, I kind of want to play as Winter Soldier. And you said he doesn't have to reload like Punisher? No, yeah. he Punisher's the only one that reloads the way that he does. Stupid. Yeah, that's really dumb. I don't know why they did that. I, I hope that they don't do that with anyone else. But, um... Magneto's kind of that way. And Magneto's another one. I, I played as Magneto, and I didn't really mind how Magneto works. I didn't find it as annoying as the Punisher with the reloading or anything like that. So, but, uh, it's alright. I recently just got the black costume for Magneto because I changed three costumes into a random one. So. You and your costume trading. You get yeah. a bunch of characters and they're going to be naked. Yeah, naked. Well, I, I traded in 175 shards and got Juggernaut, and I'm like, oh, fuck me, man. Juggernaut's <laughs> fun, man. He's so stupid that it's fun. Yeah. You just charge around going, yeah. I'm just not too interested in Juggernaut. I mean, All you do is sprint everywhere with your head down. That's it. <laughs> and clothesline people. I don't know if that really sounds fun to me. I don't know. I don't know. He also drops elbows. He's like the Macho Man of fucking Marvel. I will say, I, I did enjoy playing as the Hulk. He was a, a melee character that uh, I was digging playing as. I was kind of surprised by that. Hulk was pretty good. I, well, I really haven't touched Juggernaut at all. I mean, I, I kind of like ran around with him for a few minutes and I said I didn't level him up at all, so... I can't really say too much of, of him. I'm just, as a character, I don't really care for Juggernaut. I mean, he's all right and everything, and I used to like him as a kid, but... Uh, I, X-Men 3 ruined it for me, because then everyone started running around saying, I'm the Juggernaut, bitch, and it's like, okay, yeah, yeah this is dumb. That is not dumb. That is dumb. Because I am the Juggernaut, bitch. Oh, see? All right, we're done. We're done here. Good. I'm out of here. All right, bye. Feels good. Ooh, feels good. I am the Juggernaut, bitch. I think I say it more gravelly. I am the Juggernaut, bitch. Oh, there we go. That's it. That tone right there. And he's back.
<laughs> oh man. Hey, I knew you'd come back. Love that jugger, jugger love. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. Is that all you've been playing? Just uh, Marvel? Uh, yeah, basically. Um, I think I got Fallout Three working. What? Uh, yeah, I think I got it working. Not see, okay. Because of my computer before, I couldn't get to work. But then once I had to get a new hard drive, basically everything was new again. So I was able to reinstall it and uh, go through the steps again. This time without, okay, because there's 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 a process of steps to go through on Steam. I didn't go through this the first time. I went and did a couple of other things that I found on the internet. And then I was told that I could crash my computer and I should do these. And then I tried doing those and it still wouldn't work. So I'm assuming the other things that I did before is the reason why I couldn't get to work last time. Because I, I followed them, the rules this time. And I was able to play for about uh, about a half hour, 45 minutes maybe, give or take. And um, it didn't crash on me, it didn't freeze on me or anything like that. So Yet. Yeah, sure. I mean, who knows? Maybe it will, but, uh, yeah, for, you know, a few minutes there, it was kind of nice. Man, now I'm going to have to go buy it. I just don't feel like taking the 57-step process. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. Yeah, I would say definitely wait for 4. If, if by, by now, if you don't own 3, then don't bother. Just buy 4 when it comes out and not have to worry about it. Yeah, if I get the itch, I can always play New Vegas. Fuck it. Yeah. Not the best, though. Fallout games, but still scratch that itch a little bit. Yeah, yeah. They made uh, the the thing that uh, a lot of people hated that game for. Well, two reasons that I found to be bullshit. One, because of the glitches and bugs, which Fallout Three was loaded with those also. A lot of Bethesda games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, all of those open world games. I mean, Red Dead Redemption. I can I can go on. Um. And it's kind of like, ah, okay, I understand it's not Bethesda that made it, so you want to try giving it more bullshit than what it deserves, but come on. And the other thing is, is, uh... Oh, fuck, I don't remember now. I don't remember what I was going to say, though. Oh, uh, a lot of people hated it because they said it was just a, a, a glorified expansion pack to Fallout 3, which is complete bullshit. Mm, yeah, I'll agree with that. Yeah, so many people out there were like, how, this is nothing, I mean, it, it, it became a popular thing, like, at the time I was going to a lot of different forums and, and for gaming and stuff, and a lot of people were trying to come up with that bullshit of saying, like, oh, it's just a glorified expansion pack, I mean, it's just, everything's the same, and it's like, that happens all the time in games, like, <laughs> like. The only problem was with Obsidian make it, making it, they didn't have that good of a track record with, uh games yeah sure i mean <laughs> and and fallout new vegas doesn't help it at all i mean that game had i mean that game was broken to me like i was i finally got to the point where i quit playing it i never even finished it and even when i decided fuck it i'm gonna go back and just race to the main story to get it done and over with i couldn't do that because i got towards the end and i started getting shot through walls and everything and i was like you know what yeah i'm done <laughs> but um yeah, like, a, a lot of people at at the time were, were calling it a glorified expansion pack. And it's like, games do this all the time. Like, use the same engine over and over again. I mean, like, that'd be like saying uh, Oblivion is, is a fucking expansion pack to uh, Morrowind. It is. It's just a glorified No. <laughs> it's just like, what are, you, what are you guys talking about? Like, I mean, I sure I understand, like, a lot of, like, weapons and stuff are, are, were the same, but... Outside of that, I mean, it had its own stuff, you know, own weapons and stuff like that. And that game is the one that started uh, started it so you could customize weapons and stuff like that, too, so. And craft your own bullets, which was fucking stupid. Yeah. But I think you could buy bullets, too. You could. I just hated crafting bullets. I just thought it was stupid. I go to a workbench, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I can just click these buttons and keep breaking things down because I don't understand this, and it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid, because I don't like it. Stupid New Vegas. Fuck you, Obsidian. <laughs> oh, and uh, speaking of 
Uh, Fallout. I, I have been playing Fallout Shelter. I've been dabbling here and there with that. I was I was pretty addicted to it for a couple of days there. I, I, I've fallen off since then, but I still, like, at least daily check my vault, see how it's doing. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm like at least once, once a day. Twice a week. <laughs> oh, man, no. Like, at first, I was doing it, like, every time it'd pop up, I'm like, ooh, what's, what's happening now? Of course, and my my, <laughs> my my first vault was a fucking disaster, but um, it's kind of set up, you know, like XCOM is, where, you know, like, if you put different things that are the same together, it'll expand, or, or, or they would, you know, work together. And, well, in, in XCOM, they wouldn't, like, ex, you know, go together, but in this game, they do go together and make the room bigger. Um, but, at least, okay, in XCOM, if you put one on top and one on bottom, it still works the same way as if they're next to each other, where this game doesn't do that. So, I was doing that with a couple of different things, you know, putting, like, one on top, one on the bottom, and thinking that they would work together, and they don't. So, Dude, I was running into problems there. Later, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that game's, uh, that game's fun. I like it. I do like how everyone is uh, like, oh yeah, and there's no, there's no pay to win or anything like that, and it's oh, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, ah, yeah, there isn't, you know, but like some of the, some of those things do get up there in time really high, like I mean, yeah, when you build something, it builds instantly, but like, and if you uh, get the people good enough, say strength is for the the power room. And if you get enough people with really high strength, it takes less and less time for the power to um, to be able to tap the button to get the power um, juice out of there, I guess. I don't know how else to put it. Um, but, like, everything's still timed. And, like, to train your characters, the higher level they are, the longer it takes for them to train. But, I mean, and you cannot buy. You can't buy anything that uh, shortens that stuff and weapons. Yeah, you can buy lunch boxes, but you you do get lunch boxes in the game also, but uh you get them very few and far between it seems like. Yeah. Not enough to put on everybody. And that game isn't enough for me to drop money on. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I haven't found any interest I like in stone. <laughs> yeah. That's all I played. I've spent like eighty dollars in card packs. Wow. Hey man, gotta get my collection up so I can battle people. <laughs> like Pokemon, I gotta have them all. Right. Build my decks. I've I've thought about getting back into Hearthstone a few times, but I um, I don't really give a shit. Like when I first played it, I'm like, oh, all right, yeah, I can I can see where people dig games like this and Magic and stuff. I guess sure, because like it's never been my thing to get into those kind of games. And then after playing it like three times, I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm done. I, I have no interest in this. I never got into Magic, but it just seemed overly complicated. But with Hearthstone, it just seemed polished and very easy to understand. See, I find, I mean, it's it's easy to understand to a point, but like still, for me, building a deck is uh, useless. Like, I mean... I'm just, I think I'm just bad at that in general, because even with uh, Witcher 3, when you play Gwent, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but, like, when I put my fucking deck together, I, I still lose. You just hand your deck to a big dumb lawyer baby and fucking let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> let the dumb lawyer baby fucking put my deck together? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the, figure it out. the word dumb is right there in the title. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looked up a couple, like, I use a mage when I play Hearthstone. I looked up a couple guides on oh. different decks. So but the thing cheating. is, that's where you start buying cards, because you're like, this is a badass deck, but I only have one of these cards, and I need two. So I'll just buy a pack, and hopefully I'll get that card. Yeah. That's the road I went down. Got a nice deck, but now they have those two expansions out, and ugh. I think they're like twenty dollars a pop too. <laughs> Haven't been on that yet. Yet. Yeah. Fallout shelters. Back to that, I guess. Uh, Fallout shelters. 
like fun time waster for a few minutes, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely a fun game. That, like, if you're, I mean, for me, it's it's perfect for like on the go kind of game. Just get on there real quick, do a couple of clicks, you know. Have have your people making babies, stuff like that. Hell yeah. Good times. Yeah. It's a fun little game. But yeah, that's basically all I've been doing. For games. That's it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Steam sale just ended. You didn't play any new games? No, I only picked up Chivalry and The Fall, and that's because combined it was like four dollars and fifty cents that I spent on them and I haven't really uh played them at all. Like I haven't like around you know, the, the Steam sale time is when I, I started playing more Marvel and that's all I really been wanting to play. I've even I, I I still need to finish fucking The Witcher. You and me both. I haven't touched it since the week it came out. Yeah, I mean because I was worried about all those bugs where, like, you weren't getting XP or it deleted your save. <laughs> I was waiting for patches. Apparently they patched it, though. Yeah, I, that's... Uh, as far as I know, um... I know the, the like... Um... Fuck, the game save one has been patched. I haven't heard anything about the XP patch, but I believe that one's been patched also. Yeah, game sa- for a game that you can put, like, a hundred hours into, if my save were to get fucked up, I'd just never go back to it. It'd just be done. I'd be like, nope, not again. <laughs> Fuck that game. Yep. <clears throat> uh, what have I been doing? I'm still playing Destiny. Like a crazy fu- fucking person. Still. God, gotta get those fucking raid weapons, man. Gotta get them. <laughs> Try to level 35 uh, Prison of Elders, the hardest one. And holy fucking shit. Is it all. hard? Uh, we died maybe 20 some times before we finally got to the end boss, and they don't checkpoint you, so if you don't stay and beat it, then the second somebody leaves, it's over. Oh, um, really? The guys had to leave. So we got the skull loss, the final boss, down to like half health and then died because it, it got very complicated and hard. Is it still set up so you have to play with friends? Mm, for certain things, yeah. Wow. Man, that's so fucking dumb. I think it is until you do it. And I think a lot of people have that same experience, I guess. I mean, I... I, No. (laughs) Like, there's no excuse for that. Like, I I understand the the concept of, like, well, then there's teamwork. It's like, well, you can get a teamwork together. And like you said, like, you guys died 20 times. The only difference between dying that 20 times and with uh, a random uh, group pulled together is uh, getting annoyed with them. I mean, like, I understand when you're with your friends. You guarantee that they have headsets because you're talking constantly. Right, but I mean, if you're dying 20 times, like, what's the difference between dying 20 times with your friends and dying 20 times with someone else? Other than the fact that with your other... You're going to die 100 times. No, but still, you're you're still gonna die a lot. Like, there's no way around it. So, like, the only difference is is with your friends, you're not gonna get pissed off at them as easy because that's just what we do in general when we play with people we don't know. Uh, there's there's just a lot of shit in there that if people don't know what the fuck they're doing or don't want to listen, which ninety percent of the people you play with online don't want to listen. It will never get done. Like, hey, you have to go stand on this point. I'm going to stand on this point. And then if you get somebody in there that just doesn't want to stand on the point, you're never going to get past it. It's like, oh, wonderful. Thanks, dude. I mean, then you kick them out and you get someone new in. It's just, it's just so a dumb excuse. Like, this is so dumb of them to fucking do that. Like, I, I feel like uh, they didn't know how to do it or something like that, and they just came up with that as an excuse. Well, they know how to do it, because there's lower-level ones that don't require as much puzzly shit. Okay, well, probably now, but I mean, when maybe when the game first launched or something. I mean, of course, I mean, well, when the game first launched, it was barely a fucking video game, right? I mean, that's what everyone was oh, saying no, about yeah. it. So, there like, I, shit there. 
it was yeah. the DC World experience where you get to the end, you're like, all right, I only got two or three things to do. <laughs> Yeah. Well, with DC World, though, it was stuff that you've already done. Uh, yeah. That's what really fucked with that, or the, what really sucked with that game. With the two expansions, there's plenty of fucking shit to do now. Yeah. And there's always, like, later tonight, I'm going to be jumping on doing the Nightfall Strike with a group of people and doing the level 32 and 34 Prison of Elders. Right on. Gotta get those done for the week. I'm still enjoying it. There's, it's fun. I still have weapons and armor I'm chasing. Um, pretty much maxed out, but different weapons have different stats and shit, and I want those guns. Right. And then I also threw in a little game called Batman Arkham Knight. What uh, What are you playing that on? Uh, the Xbox One. Ah, okay. Uh, it's... I hated that game for the first 20 minutes. Why did you hate it? They just kind of throw you into the world. Uh, you don't have really, like, I'm running around trying to stealth take down people. I'm like, why can't I do this? I've seen a lot of really cool shit in this game, and I can't do a goddamn thing. Well, You're you always very... have to unlock that stuff. Mm, not, like, stealth takedowns and shit. They just kind of drag it along. Wait, and... how do you, what do you mean? Like, you're like, not able to do stealth takedowns? Nope, not until you get to a certain point. Like, 90% of the shit they showed that's really badass in that game, you unlock all at once at a certain point. And it's about 20, 25 minutes in. Okay, well, well what exactly are you doing at the beginning of that game, then? I'm, I'm kind of... Um, <laughs> sounds weird. Like, I, I could say, like, uh, Batman Arkham City I thought was stupid at the beginning because you're playing as Bruce Wayne for, like, the first ten minutes. I'm like, why? I don't want to play as Bruce Wayne. the first three minutes, you're playing as some random dude in first person. Oh, fuck. Walking through the city, or in a diner. And that just kind of sets up the story for what's getting ready to happen. But they give you the, the first time you get in the Batmobile, it's fucking badass. Yeah. Like... A little prompt shows up that says even the odds and you just hit the button and Batman jumps off the fucking building lanes in the Batmobile and it fucking turns into a tank. I was like, yeah! And then it just keeps going and going. And I hate that goddamn vehicle with a passion. <laughs> that thing is everything they just keep... It's like they just built the entire game just to make use of that damn fucking vehicle. You yeah. know, Riddler puzzles or like little races and shit. And... Oh no... Yeah. A lot of shit revolves around that fucking Batmobile. And the thing that sucks is they improve the movement and, like, flying and gliding so much that you don't want to get in the fucking Batmobile. But 90% of the time you have to. See, that's the one thing I don't understand is because, like, I kept hearing stuff that made it sound like you won't be using it that much. Oh, God. But then the the what I've seen of it is you use it a lot. You do, and it seems to get tedious. Like, the first time you do some of the stuff in the Batmobile, like fucking winch yourself up the side of a building or something, pretty badass. But then after you do it the 20th time, you're like, yep, this is stupid. Yeah. The remote control thing for the Batmobile is pretty badass. Like, when you're... How do you put this? Uh, there was a scene where I was saving a guy, and I get surrounded... And I hacked into the Batmobile while I was surrounded, and the fucking garage door opens up, and the Batmobile's there, and just starts fucking unloading on motherfuckers. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of gnarly. Like, your character can just be standing behind a wall, and the Batmobile can drive in and fucking start laying waste. Right. Yeah, that's cool. And it's, it's not as bad as I thought, it's just overly used. A uh, way overly used. How does it does it control good? Uh, yeah. It takes a little while getting used to it, like power sliding around turns and shit. Right on. But it controls. It controls all right. It looked like it controlled good, but then I've seen stuff on Twitter people saying that it, it doesn't, and it's like, eh, okay. Well, they made it so you don't have to do like fucking three point tar turns to turn around. Like you can just hold down a button and it switches to like a tank mode. Yeah. And it's basically like a hovercraft. But 
you can stand still and his wheels will turn sideways and you can just do like a full circle to turn if you're stationary so you don't have to fucking back yeah. up, go forward. Which is, they made it more gamey and playable, which is kind of nice. Right, yeah. That's what I thought it, too when I seen it. I was like, yeah, this looks like, it looks like it's at least not annoying to drive. No. It's fun. It's cool that it's in there, but I think all that shit that they put revolving around it is a little overdone. Yeah. Especially with all the new mechanics for, like, getting around the city as Batman. Yeah, that's... And the new fear takedowns. Pretty fucking gnarly. Okay. That was completely fucking stupid to me. Like, not, you know, what you do. I mean, what you do is cool, but the whole charge-up thing... No, you just have to have one silent kill, and then you can do it. Yeah, but it's just fucking dumb. Like, that's something in video games that can stop now. Like, this whole idea... Like, they did this with Splinter Cell also. Like, oh, if you kill someone a certain way, if you do a silent takedown, then you can do a quick takedown of up to, like, three people silently with your gun or something like that. And it's like, you shouldn't have to charge up a skill. Like, Batman shouldn't just automatically forget how to take down two guys at one time. Like, it's completely dumb to me. I think that's only in there because it's very overpowered. I mean, maybe... And you can upgrade it to take down a lot more than just three people starting off. Well, still, I mean, Batman's supposed to be a fucking badass and just let him be a badass. It's just it's just dumb to me. But it's, 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 it's that Hitman thing. You know, like, oh... I can only tilt my head and, and pretend to be on the radio for so long and then all of a sudden my head goes back up to normal. It's like, wait, what? Like, sometimes, okay, you know, I keep making an argument of, like, at the end of the day, it's still a video game, so stop being so fucking shitty with your games. But there is a, there is a, a, a polar opposite to that, which is this, where it's like, oh, well, it's a, it's a video game. We don't want you to, you know, be too overpowered or anything like that. And it's like, just, come on. Batman's a badass. <laughs> Let him constantly take down five guys at once. Like, that's what people want to do. Oh, fuck yeah. They added the dual takedown stuff, which I thought was going to be complicated, but it's not. Yeah, just that build seems up your easy combo shit. and tap a button and it does some badass animations and then you're playing as the other character. Yeah, that, that seemed kind of cool. Like, that, I mean, not only that, uh, the fact that it seems easy, but like, um, the, the fact that you're you're basically able to play as, as one of, you know, like someone else. I mean, as far as I can tell, you could just stay as that other person for a while, right? Yeah, until that little fighting segment thing's over. Like, oh. I only got the team up with Catwoman so far. Oh, right on. Okay. And once the little fighting area is done, then they just go back to talking and you're Batman. Right on. Well, yeah, still, I mean, yeah, that that does seem pretty cool. A little something different to play with someone else. And driving full speed with fucking nitrous in the Batmobile and then double tapping A and launching out of that motherfucker <laughs> over buildings. And then tapping the button and having the Batmobile drive itself so you land in it on the other side of shit is pretty gnarly. Right. Like, the concepts that they threw in there is really cool. It's just the tedious bullshit with the Batmobile is stupid. And I think they've made it finally hit the point where the combat is overly goddamn complicated. Yeah. They throw in so many different types of enemies that require so many different button pushing combos that it's just a pain in the ass. It's like, alright, I got a shielded guy, so I have to hit A, B, B to do an air takedown on this guy, and that guy's got a stun rod, so I have to stun him and then get behind him and attack. But this guy's got a knife, and I have to disarm the knife guy, and it's like, Jesus Christ. Uh, you got like yeah. four, five different fucking button combos that you're trying to remember while you're getting your ass whipped. Yeah, I've, I've always had that problem with all of the games, really. I I noticed, because I, I went back and I was doing, uh like, Let's Plays, I guess. Or I was calling them uh, playthroughs um, for all the games. And I, I noticed even starting, because, like, I, I remember really hating the, the combat of Arkham Origins after a wh- after a while into the game, where it just seemed like it was so tedious and you were doing it every five minutes. But then going back and even playing Arkham Asylum, th- even that game, and, and Arkham City for that matter, get to a certain point where 
it seems like you're constantly fighting every few minutes and you're doing less and less of the, the, uh, like the detective work and stuff like that and more fighting. Oh, fuck, this one's got detective work galore. Yeah. But uh, it's just a matter of I guess it's it's frustrating because I know what I want to do like all right that's a shielded guy I need to get behind him and then do an air attack but it's just trying to remember the button combos to fucking do it. Yeah. And then yeah, getting my ass whipped in the process. It's like god damn it I know what I want to do but Jesus. Yeah, it it gets it, the all the games got to that point with me where it was you yeah, you got like the, the knife guy, you do a certain thing to disarm him, and then the, you know, the padded dude, and all, you know, they all have their own way of, of being, having, you know, taking them down. And then you finally get to the point where all of them are in the same room together, and you're trying to remember which one does what, and make sure you're doing the right one with, you know, like, oh, wait, I just tried doing the takedown for shield guys on the guy with the knife. Like, fuck. Yeah, it it gets frustrating. But so far, the story's okay. Like, the main story... I like the side stories a lot better, because they're intriguing. Yeah. And the Scarecrow shit is pretty fucking gnarly. Alright, like, yeah. I love the Scarecrow shit. The, the one video that I was watching of the game showed a lot of the Joker. And I was getting really fucking annoyed with that, because I am done with the Joker. When I heard this game wasn't gonna have the Joker and like for sure he was dead, I was like, finally. And then when I see him like every five minutes being a figment of Batman's imagination, I'm like, fuck. Yeah, that gets a little. You don't have to listen to him or nothing. It gets a little annoying, but in the concept of what, like, what starts all that, basically, Batman's pretty fucked up. Yeah, I got some like, post-traumatic not, stress disorder. Yeah, pretty much. Like, shit is not going well in this game. <laughs> it's not like, oh, congratulations, you saved this area. Now you saved... Uh, no, it's just, god damn it, I killed more people. God damn it. <laughs> I failed again. God damn it. Yeah. yeah I don't know. It's a oh, fucking joker, man. Like, I'm so done with him as a character. Like, he got I'm way too popular. Him, like, the first, uh, very first interaction that you have to do in the game. What's that? You'll love what you have to do in the first, like, five seconds of starting the game if you're tired of the Joker. <laughs> but no, it? I'm saying it's a good thing. Oh. Oh, is it's it is it where thing. you burn them? Yeah, you burn that motherfucker. <laughs> but the Scarecrow, I like the Scarecrow stuff. That's kind of cool. The Arkham Knight thing, I still haven't reached the point where I, I don't know who he is yet. I have suspicions. Yeah, I, I've heard some ideas, not like of who he is, but like of what he's about. It seems like he's not the big bad guy as much as I wanted him to be that, you know, Scarecrow is. Yeah, and one thing that is kind of cool that they have you doing early on that I wish they would have you do more, at least from where I'm at, I'm only like 10% into the fucking game. Uh, you... This isn't spoilers, but you have a tutorial mission where you have to go get Poison Ivy and you load her in the Batmobile and take her and imprison her at GCPD. Like, you drive into the parking lot, walk her into the police station, lock her in a cell. Okay. And it hints that you are going to do that with more supervillains. Yet, I haven't had that happen, really, yet. Like, I, I want to go out and capture every fucking villain that's ever been in Batman and fucking lock him up in the PD, but... Every single one? <laughs> Every single fucking one. Why not? Their final game, they say. Let me just go batshit crazy, no pun intended. <laughs> what the... And go after every single supervillain. It seems like, I mean, all I've seen from, like, the trailers and stuff is Two-Face and Penguin. Like, I guess Two-Face and Penguin are working together. The Riddler's fucking has this thing with Hot Wheels cars where he wants you to drive your Batmobile to do all these puzzles. Oh. Fucking stupid. And that makes me not want to do the regular puzzles. Oh, yeah. I used to love doing those, but... And it's still got the same old Riddler puzzles of, hey, here's a little puzzle thing. Try to figure out what he's talking about and snap a photo of it type thing. Yeah, those were... Arkham Asylum, it was perfect. It wasn't too many of them, and they were, like, not... They were 
some of them were difficult to figure out. Um, but I mean, it was just perfect. Like, you didn't have like a ton of timers or anything like that. You know, you just do yeah. your shit, find them, get them done and over with, and that's it. And then Arkham City came along, and there was a million and five of them, and it was like way too much and too hard, and just got really ridiculous. Where land on this pad, and then land on this pad, and then go back up and just fuck that. Man. I haven't found any. I'm only on the first island still. I just unlocked the second island, but they seem to not be that complicated. Like, really? the hardest ones I've found so far are... There's another character that revolves around the Riddler missions that's helping you. And they're kind of trapped, so they're helping you while they're trapped, like Saw-ish style, I <laughs> guess. And whenever you go back to visit him, he always has a puzzle, like, before you can go in and see him. Like, one of the puzzles had something to do with a mirror, and you had to figure out with these question marks in front of you, like, how the fuck do I do this? <laughs> I mean, it's... It's Batman. <laughs> it, it's good. I thought I was gonna fucking be tired of it and hate it, but I'm enjoying my time with it. Right on. Except when I have to get in that... Like, when I'm just cruising in the Batmobile, not having to do anything with it, I fucking love it. It's badass, but the second they're like... You have to attach the grapple from the Batmobile to this thing and rev your engine to send a shock down it to open this door. And it's like, oh, Jesus Christ, really? Not again. <laughs> so you were lucky enough to buy it on Xbox One. Yeah, I heard there was some, <laughs> some kind of drama around this game or something. Oh, man, yeah. Okay, so first of all, the PC version, I guess, is fucked. Um, like Mortal Kombat fucked or... I don't know what Mortal Kombat did. <laughs> Mortal Kombat came out and it didn't even work for about a week and a half. Like, you hit play and it just would not work. It would crash immediately. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not that bad. I, I, I mean, I haven't played it, so I don't know. But, like, I've heard it has some very, very major issues with the PC version of it. On top of that, fucking Rocksteady pulls a goddamn gearbox... And fucking throws another developer under the fucking bus. Like, the two things here. After this happened. They, 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 they came out and they're like, yeah, we're, yeah, man, this is bad, blah, 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 you know, that same old bullshit. But then they, they, uh, in not so, uh, uh, outing way, they were like, yeah, we're working with the, 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 the company that we ported the PC version to to make things better, to get patches out, or something like that. Which, all of a sudden, everyone was like, wait a minute, you ported the PC version of this, and you didn't tell anyone? Like, this is something you should have fucking disclosed long ago. And, so, now, people, well, mainly people like me are pissed about that. Like, it's like, Gearbox did the same thing, where they, they straight up lied about the development of, of Aliens Colonial Marines. Mm-hmm. And then when the game came out with shitty, they fucking ditched and were like, it's their fault, they did it. <laughs> and then uh, Rocksteady's basically doing the same thing, where they're like, well, we didn't do what they did. But they're no, they're at least not like, <laughs> they weren't like taking all the credit, they just didn't say it. Which like, I was, I was telling someone on Twitter when we were uh, conversating about it, I was like, if, if the PC version of that game would have came out perfectly fine, we never would have found out that a different company developed a PC version of it. And it's hmm. like, that's fucked up. So what company developed the PC version? I don't know. I want to say it was... I, I think I'm thinking of the, the, the company that Gearbox was working with, which is like Time Studio or something like that. Um, Time Game Studios or Time Studio Games, something like that. But, uh... I think that was uh, the company that was working with Gearbox. I don't know if I don't know if uh, Rocksteady said what one that they're working with. But yeah, so the PC version of the game is fucked, and apparently they didn't work on it. <laughs> Some another uh, studio did. Huh. Which is I'm, what's that? From what I've heard, all it was was issues with AMD people. Like they had to get drivers updated through AMD. Yeah, that was something else I heard, is, like, apparently, 
Well, I've, I've heard there's like choppiness issues and, and frame rate issues and uh, some other bullshit issues. Like, there's like a whole. The list that I seen was like five or six things that were wrong with the game. Uh, um, and I guess. I guess the. I don't know exactly how PC. When it comes to PC games fucking up, everyone points to the fucking graphics card. I don't know why or how that's any different from when a, P, uh, a, a console game fucks up. But apparently it's different. And apparently it's usually it's either AMD that fucks up or it's NVIDIA that fucks up. Or in this case, I guess both of them are fucking up. Huh. Yeah, because I know when I got Grand Theft Auto, that thing ran like shit. And then I updated my drivers, the new AMD drivers, and fucking worked perfect after that. Yeah, like, you said AMD drivers? Yeah. Yeah, because I have NVIDIA and... Uh, I don't I don't have GTA 5, but um, around the time that game came out on PC, um, there was a thing on my little NVIDIA thing popping up saying, hey, new new download for GTA 5 is here, so I updated it. Hmm. Just in case I ever do buy GTA 5 on PC. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I guess it's, uh, it's a shit show right now on PC, but... It, yeah, it, yeah, they probably should have came out and said who was porting the game, but... Oh, yeah, they they definitely should have. <laughs> games are ported all the time, though. It's Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, games are ported all the time, but when you're not fucking telling people that you're porting that stuff is when it starts becoming shady. And it's like, yeah. what the fuck? Especially when it's like... <laughs> the, the game comes out fucked up and they're like, Oh, yeah, we're working with the guys that did it <laughs> to make it better. And it's like, well, wait a minute here. Like, this is a prime example of why, you know, like, maybe they were afraid that if they did say, yeah, we're, we're reporting the PC version of it to another company, um, people, people would, would freak out. Well, people maybe not freak out so much, but maybe they would have had less pre, uh, uh, pre-orders for the PC version or something. I don't know. Yeah, because especially with the old consoles nowadays, a lot of companies, like even, what is it, uh, Call of Duty does that, but they still announce it. They're like, hey, another uh, publisher's handling our 360 version of the game. Yeah. I mean... Titanfall did that too, I think. Even uh, Gearbox, like, said there was another company, but Gearbox said, we're doing 80% of the work. They're doing the other 20%. And then once the game came out, it was a piece of shit. That's when they started fucking lying and saying, "Oh no, they did all the work. We we barely touched it." And it's like, wait, what? What? They could have solved this if they just would have announced, just for argument's sake, Obsidian's doing our port for that. Then the game comes out and it's total shit. Then they could easily point the finger and say, "Obsidian fucking did the port. Talk to them." Yeah, but I, I by hiding it, they kind of fuck themselves. Yeah, that's. I mean, the fact of just not saying it and like. Now, especially with, with the game being fucked up, like, it's like, what the fuck, you know? Why is it now you're just saying that you, you did it? Like, it took the game being shitty on the PC for you to say that it was ported out. Like, I have a bad feeling that game was fucked for PC this entire time, and that's maybe why they kept pushing it back. And I don't think they've ever developed a Batman game strictly from PC and then ported it to consoles. I think it's always been console ported to PC. Uh, probably. I mean, I don't know if you really consider it ported per se, unless it's like made directly for it and it's just copy and pasted it over. I feel like that's when the definition of ported, you know, comes around. I, yeah. I don't know. I... I to me, that's kind of a thin line of, of what it really means. Like, when that... I, whatever. Shitty, though, man, because playing on the Xbox One, it's a good fucking game. And they did a good job with it. It's just kind of shitty that happened. I think that's why... Because I, I haven't really heard much about it since uh, earlier yesterday. Like, I haven't seen anything else about that game being shitty or anything like that. Or about, about them porting it or anything... Uh, so, I maybe because m so many people, you know, with the Xbox One and the PS4 versions haven't had any trouble, you know, like where, um, 
Assassin's Creed Unity, as far as I know, was all the systems that had problems with that game. That is probably... I mean, talk about broken games. That had to be one of the most broken console games I've ever played. <laughs> Any game that hard crashes my system to where I have to unplug it, there's a fucking problem. <laughs> and I had to do that several fucking times. Nice. Fuck that game. <laughs> Good fucking game. Shitty fucking experience. Yeah. Yeah, I know Destiny's in some shit with their uh, PR department right now. Yeah, what's that about? I heard that like they're getting kind of like fucking shit on by gamers right now or something. Well, by their fans, by the people that have dedicated and put hundreds of hours into that fucking game. Because that Taken King DLC is out for pre-order. Yeah. And the only way to get new shaders, emotes, and something else, like a weapons pack, is to buy the Legendary pre-order edition which also includes the full game and previous DLCs. That seems... People are like, you're making me pay $80 for shaders and emotes, things you're adding to the game, uh, and I've played this game and already own all this shit? Yeah, that sounds really fucking weird. Well then, did you hear what happened during the E3 interview with Eurogamer? No. See, okay, uh, this is going to make a lot more sense for me, because that's when I started... It was during E3 that I heard, like, people were getting pissy. Yeah, like, a lot of the fans were like, 40 bucks for that content, alright, whatever, we're going to pay for it, you got us, whatever. Yeah. It's fine. But, during the interview, they're like, the guy from Eurogamer was pressing the guy, saying, what's in here that makes this worth $40? And he was saying, oh, well, one of his comments don't quote me, <laughs> was, well, if I loaded up the TV right now and showed you those emotes, you would just throw money at the screen, and our uh, our developers, our, our fans, have proven that they want to spend the money on the game, and if that's how they have to spend the money, that's how they're going to do it. Uh... And everybody's like, dude, that sounds like a money-grabbing thing, because you know that people that have put this much time into the game and already own all that shit want those shaders they want those emotes but yeah okay I now mean, you're, the only way I can get those is by buying the game again and buying the DLCs again I mean emotes are, are, are just like every other MMO right where you just like will wave your hand or something or whatever it is that they have you do right mm, yeah but what are shaders shaders are um, once you hit max level 20 you can add, like, different color shaders in to change the colors of your armor. Like, there's gold... Like, during my whole Iron Banner thing, I wanted that golden white shader, so my character's golden white. Okay. Basically, they're to change colors for your character. Okay, like of, of the clothes and stuff die. like that, yeah. So, okay, and... so those are, like, minuscule things. Why are they fucking putting those in there at all like that? Like, those should be uh, things that you buy for, like, a dollar or two in the store. Well, they don't have a... can't buy stuff like that. Off the Xbox market? No, they don't sell uh, microtransaction stuff for the game. Well, maybe they should. <laughs> I agree. But it's kind of hard to do that now when you just said pretty much that, oh, our, our fans that put all the time into this will spend $80 to buy all this stuff again just to get those... Yeah, that's... I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, that's fucking stupid. It's, it should have never came to that at all. But apparently now Bungie is backpedaling like motherfuckers, and they announced that this Thursday during their weekly update on their website, they're going to announce that uh, players that have played the entire time and own all this stuff aren't going to get those emotes or those shaders. Those are only for that, but they're going to get something better. And we're announcing it this Thursday. Uh, okay. But here's the thing. We don't want better. We want that shit. Well. The fact that I have to spend $80 to only get that shit. But it's better. Who knows? It could be anything. It could be, it could be shaders. It could be. <laughs> but. And I guess Bungie also during that interview was, they were saying they don't understand what the big deal was for a couple shaders and emotes. It's like. You made a game that's, I get, we'll just for argument's sake, MMO-ish. 
players that spend that much time on it want all the shit. Right. And not only that, but like, if, you can't put that stuff in, in, in a fucking huge fucking expensive pack like that and then say we don't understand what the big deal is. Like, if it's not a big deal to you, then give it away for fucking free, asshole. Yep. You can't make it. Then, you can't make that your fucking argument. I, the only way I could see them fixing this is having a version of the pre-order for the DLC, or a version of the DLC that's maybe fifty dollars instead of forty. That says, "Hey, it includes this and this new stuff." But the only way to get that shit is to buy the game, previous DLCs, and the expansion. I wonder what that better thing is going to be. I'm curious. I'm kind of excited. I'm waiting to see, because it better be something really fucking good. Cause I was a little, I'm not going to lie. When I went to pre-order this shit, I was a little pissed. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to get this version that's got all this extra, like, guns and shaders and emotes. And I'm like, wait, that $80 includes the previous DLCs and the game. I don't need that. And I looked, and there was no version that did not have that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's so fucking dumb to do that. Oh, it, it just, especially after the E3 interview, it seems very money, money grabby when you Wait do a minute. that. Destiny's made by Activision, right? Or it's uh, Bungie. Bungie developed Activision's, like, did that co-partner publishing thing. Wait, that's but... the thing, too, because everybody's saying this is... Possibly Activision's fault because Bungie's Bungie's normally good about giving their fans shit for free. Are they? Oh yeah. And like Halo? Oh yeah. Like Halo, I mean, you get updated maps all the time. You get fucking new game modes integrated all the time. Okay, because I was gonna say because like with 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 like Halo, it seems like it's a blur line because Microsoft is that way for sure. Like this would be something Microsoft would pull off. Because, you know, they did that with Gears of War and Halo, and that's why yeah, it's like, Halo, I wasn't sure if, if... Halo didn't start getting map packs until bought it from Bungie. Right. Like, uh... Well, even still, I mean, Microsoft... How do I want to say this? Um, like, Microsoft is the one that has the final say on if developers charge for anything at all or not. Like... Yeah. The, the Gears of War situation that happened many years ago where um, Epic wanted to give these maps away and Microsoft said, no, you're going to charge money for them. And then they were like, fine, we'll we'll charge for them. And then in like three months or six months or whatever, something like that, we're going to give them away for free. And well, they, they were like, the fine. Thing with Steam or Valve for Left 4 Dead where they wanted to give away, give away all that extra content for Left 4 Dead for free and Microsoft's like, nope. So they put it up on the market for a dollar and said, there, whatever. And then <laughs> never updated the game after that. Nice. Like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... I mean, like I said, I know it sounds petty where it's... Yeah, dude, I really want these color things and I want these emotes, but... You're kind of excluding the people that have been playing your game this entire time. Yeah. Especially, and that's the part that pisses me off. So you're telling me if you run out right now and pick up that game, you get all this new cool shit. I don't, even though I've been playing it since it fucking came out. Right, yeah. No, it's it's total bullshit for them to do that at all. Like, that is a really shitty thing for them to do. Like, don't hide things behind certain pay things like that unless, like, if, if it would have been, if they wouldn't give you all the other bullshit and gave you... I don't know if I'm trying to think of a way to keep it at eighty dollars, but like let's say they would have been like, okay, you get that expansion plus this other thing or something. I don't know. Something you know, you don't have already. The expansion itself is forty bucks. If they added those shaders and emotes in and charged fifty dollars for like a special digital edition, all right, I can understand that. It's like, yeah, I want that shit. I'll pay an extra ten bucks. But to make me have to buy shit I already got. Yeah, that that's the thing here is they're they're forcing you to either not have that stuff and just get the expansion pack the standard way or buy stuff that is basically useless to you because you already have even I mean, okay, the only other way that they can make this an okay situation with that pack is if they let you give that away to a friend. 
Yeah, they still haven't implemented that shit. I mean, yeah, if they were like, all right, fine, you buy this eighty dollar pack, we'll allow you to the give the game away and the other DLC away as a gift. That would be pretty cool. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, you know, because it's it's completely fucking useless to you. You already have you already owned the game fucking twice. <laughs> I know that's why I think I have twice as much reason to be pissed <laughs> off because I have to buy this thing twice. <laughs> I had to buy it for both versions. Oh, man. So I'm already spending $80 on both DLCs. <laughs> God damn. But if I want those emotes and shaders, I gotta spend $160 fucking dollars on... Yeah, fuck them. I'm still buying the expansion, but fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a really bad... Bad fucking thing that they did there. That's really stupid. And then during your interview to say, well, if I loaded up the screen right now and showed you those emotes, you would throw money at it. It's like, really, dude? Yeah. I think you're missing the point. We want to throw money at it, but we don't want to throw money at shit we already got. Dude, that is up there with, uh, what's his name from Sony saying, if you want a PS3, get a second job. And up there with fucking uh, Don Matrick saying, hey, we if you if you, if you you don't want to spend $500 on Xbox One, we still have a great system for you. It's the 360. Like, hey, yo. oh man, this is like some head up your ass type shit. Like, seriously. I doubt that PR guy is going to be working for the company. I don't know. It, it is, it is fucking, it's Activision. So Bobby Kodak might be like, yep, that's how you put your big dick on the table. That's how you do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> he just gave that dude a raise. Yeah, he's like, you're promoted. Yeah, you take a stand. Fuck them. Yeah. If they want it bad enough, they'll pay for it. Oh man. Yeah, we'll see what little fucking gift we get on Thursday that's announced. Better be something fucking great. Yeah, that's like another raid or something. <laughs> I I doubt it. Well, I don't yeah, know. I doubt it too. It'll probably just be like here's a special emblem that says thank you. Yeah, Thanks. I can it's see. Emblem. It's gonna either be something like here's a cape, or it's gonna be. Like, here's this gear that you can't use because it's not fucking high. It's not high enough level. Oh, God. <sighs> eh, I could use the gear. I'd be down for that. But, I mean, if it's like, hey, here's level 20 gear, you're going to be like, oh, fuck. Like, great. Yeah, like they did with the original pre-order stuff. You get these guns and all this stuff right at the beginning of the game. Yeah, they're garbage. I don't want to know that white colored gear. Fuck that. Yeah. Give me my purples. Yeah, the pre-orders, like a couple other buddies finally picked up the uh, expansion shit, and they didn't get the same shit I got for, like, you got some special speeder bike that you can do tricks with and had flames on it and shit. They didn't get that. That's, That's kind of bullshit. Yeah, that doesn't bother me so much. Like, if, if you know, like, um... But you can do the work to get other stuff that's close to that. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, because I'm thinking, like, um, Star Wars, the uh, the the Old Republic. Like, if you would have got the pre-order, I think the special edition pre-order, uh, you would have got these lightsabers that were yellow with a black filter in the middle. And they look, you know, really cool. Um, but you're able to get, like, I have one like that, but it's green instead of yellow that I got a different way. You know, shit like that. So, I mean, it's like, uh, alright, so you are you can only get these certain things, you know. And it's the same thing with, like, pets and stuff. Like, you want, like, I'm a sucker for pets. I buy pets in MMOs. I fucking love them. You know, but some of them you can only get for a limited time. Like, I was super pissed because uh, this last year, uh, I think it was in October, for World of Warcraft, they had uh, some special anniversary, 10-year anniversary thing or something, or something like that. And uh, you you would get this little little puppy dog. It, it looked like a little little uh, German Shepherd style maybe uh, puppy that was like orange and brown, like lava colors. And it was for some old raid that they used to have. But as far as I know, you can only get it for like that two weeks or something. And I didn't have World of Warcraft anymore, so I'm not able to have that puppy. And I want that fucking puppy. <laughs> Like, shit like but, that happens all the time, and it's like, that's that's fine, because, you know, whatever, you know, it's a special, and it's not charging money for it, you know, or anything like that. Yeah. I, I think that's the main thing imagine. here, is they're charging money, and they're trying to get 
they're trying to get people to buy a game again, and they yep. shouldn't. Well, it'd be the same as imagine if you've been a subscriber for Star Wars for mm -hmm. all these years, and fucking spent a ton of money on it, been playing it, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Yeah, we're coming out with a brand new expansion, and it comes with." five new classes, but the only way to get it is to buy Star Wars again. Yeah. It's like, wait, what? Yeah. What about me? I've been playing your fucking game. Yeah, exactly. I'm the one keeping your game popular so you can make this fucking money, assholes. <laughs> Doesn't matter, because I'll be done playing that game when Halo 5 comes out, so fuck them. Yeah, there you go. You should show them. Ugh. Goddamn. Yeah, sounds like some shitty stuff, man, coming out of fucking game developers right now. Well, Fuck that's yeah. not, that wasn't a developer, that was just a PR guy, right? Uh, I think he works for Bungie. Well, well right, but I mean, was he a developer? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if he was a developer. I think he was, like, the community manager or something. Right on. Yeah, something like that, probably. Something along those lines. Yeah. But yeah, huh, that is yeah, that is fucking shitty. Like I heard, like because I, I seen there's like rumblings on Twitter uh, with some fucking hate coming out of fucking Destiny. I'm like, what 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 are what are people pissed off about? They 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 announce a new expansion and I I you know I hear that it's you know got some new stuff in there for people like I. I was listening to a podcast and they were talking to a couple of the guys and it sounded like they were like, like, yeah, man, this is going to have your shit in it. You're going to be, you know, you're, we're trying to get you back because, uh, you know, get you in playing again and get, you know, whatever. And and I was like, well, what the hell happened? <laughs> uh. But yeah, that does sound, that sounds some, that is shitty. That is fucking shitty. Well, we'll see how it goes. I guess there's a petition going around <coughs> for people saying they're not going to play on Bungie Day. <laughs> like, oh, what the okay. Oh, man, people are so fucking pathetic. Like, stop with your bullshit. Like, it, it, it's like um, Nintendo. Like, uh, I, I, people got are pissed off at Nintendo. Oh, finally, pissed off at Nintendo because of the fucking. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. They announced it at E3. Some Metroid Prime game or Metroid game. Oh, that little, like, four-person yeah. battle game thing. And people were super pissed off that they didn't show off a new Metroid Prime or, or Metroid something else. I don't know. I don't know the Metroid series other than Super Metroid for the fucking NES. So what do I know? But, yeah, people put out a petition to have the game canceled. And it's like, how about this? You don't fucking buy it. That, that's it. Just don't exactly. buy it. Like, you you want to make, leave a fucking message for publishers, developers, that they will fucking clearly hear? Don't buy their shit if it's unfair to you. Like, you know, whether it is to me or you or anyone else, like, just don't buy their shit. And they'll, they have to see that. They'll, they'll have to see it and be like, oh, <laughs> we, we only sold a, a hundred copies of the new, uh, Titanfall King Legend D Dyn I don't know what the name of the expansion pack is. Like, oh, we only sold 100 copies. Guess we shouldn't have been assholes about it and sold it the way we did. And then come up with this bullshit, pompous ass, people will throw money at it if they've seen it kind of fucking attitude. Like, nope, no one threw money at it. Next time, they won't fucking do that. I guarantee it. You want Nintendo yeah. to stop fucking you over with their same content over and over again? Or, t you know, teasing a fucking Metroid game and they give you this shitty Metroid game instead of the one you want or whatever? Don't buy it. And then they'll see. <laughs> oh, they don't want that. Man. Uh, Vote with your wallets, people. Bungie has posted a follow-up to this. Yeah? Yeah, including... Oh, he's the creative director of Destiny. Yeah, he basically calls himself an asshat and said that he was wrong. And We're actively working to make the digital content from this collector's edition available in a $20 upgrade bundle, suggested retail price. 
available on September 15th. Uh, if you purchase a standalone version of Destiny, The Taken King, or already have, you'll be able to pick up the digital items as soon as they are available. So they're making this shit available. Outside of that big ass Outside pack. of that. Which is what they should have fucking... That's what they should have done from the beginning. And then that's what they should have done when people were pissed off of the way they handled it. But no, instead they tried getting fucking cocky about it and be like, well, you're going to throw money at us anyway, so might as well just not give a fuck what you think. But then all of a sudden, everyone bitched. Now look, what, what are they doing? They're changing shit. Mm, I wonder yeah, I wonder how many people fucking canceled the pre-orders and that's why they're like, oh shit, we need to do something. Man. Yeah, they're... Okay, they're giving away... Uh, you already have light level 30. Uh, or if you picked up and played both Dark Below and House of Wolves, then you're a VIP member. Uh, you'll get a new armor shader, all fucking jet black. A new jet black speeder bike, which I kind of have an erection right now looking at the picture of this. <laughs> and a new title. This is part one of two of the Bungie update. Stay tuned tomorrow for more details about other announcements. So, apparently... Hmm. So apparently you can buy this shit separately, and we're getting some extra free stuff. And they're going to announce more free stuff for the people that have been playing tomorrow. Alright, goodbye them, except they're still assholes about it. Yeah. The fact they that they tried. That's yeah, the problem. They yeah. tried and failed. The fact that they thought they could get away with this is bullshit. Yeah. But, I mean, that collector's edition $80 thing still for sale to get that shit. But apparently, like I said, they're going to sell it separately. Well, that's well. that's fine. That's Okay, selling the $80 bundle the way they are is fine. That way they can get people that don't own the game at all to be able to get all of it at once. That's fine. The, the point that's shitty was the point of them hiding stuff into that to try getting other people that do already own it to buy it. That's when yeah. it became a really fucking shitty thing for them to do. Oh, now they're taking everybody that's been playing for a long time. They're trying to take their side, saying, uh, when you're wandering through the tower, people are going to ask where you got those wonderful toys. You'll nod to them and know that you earned them. It's a year one thing. And they just wouldn't understand. It's like, Jesus Christ, really? So now you're bowing down to the people that have been playing a while and trying to make it sound yeah. really cool. Uh, I mean, I'll give them credit. They have been listening to feedback. And that game's constantly being addressed for feedback. It's just a matter that, like we said, they tried. They tried. <laughs> it bit them in the ass. Right. I'm I'm a little more calm now, because after seeing that jet black shit, I, I kind of have an erection. <laughs> oh. Fucking video games. <sighs> yeah. Video games. Have you been playing anything else? No, that's pretty much been it. I have been watching some stuff. Alright, uh, how far are you in Game of Thrones? Uh, season 3, Episode 1. You're still on Episode 1? Yes. You're killing me, dude. You're fucking I, killing me. I know I got caught up watching another fucking Netflix show. What Netflix show? Orange is the New Black Season oh 3. Oh my god, man. We're about to fucking physically fist fight, man. Works for me. I mean, yeah. alright, look, I've watched the first season, and I think the first one or two episodes of the second season, and that show's I. Yeah. But it's not Game of Thrones. No, no. It's just, I have to run the HDMI cable from the computer over to the TV, and load stuff up on the computer while I'm watching it on the TV, and hook up the wireless keyboard so I can do that shit. It's just been easier, so I've just been watching Orange is the New Black. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what else have you been watching? Uh, there is an Adam Sandler movie that was added to Netflix um, 
called The Cobbler? Okay, uh, yeah, I seen that was on, uh, like, newly released or whatever. I think and it came out last month. Yeah, it's like the first Adam Sandler movie that I've actually enjoyed in a long time. It's along the same lines as, like, Click. Like, that kind of humor and shit. Okay, Click was a good was movie. Right. Yeah, because I watched that right after The Cobbler. I had my girlfriend crying at the time. Who's that? My ex-girlfriend now, but at the oh. time, she was my girlfriend, and we watched it, she's like... <laughs> Oh, jeez. I was too busy worrying, like, okay, they show him earlier as a zombie when he goes through life this way, and then later they show him yelling at his dad, and it's like, how is that pop? You fucking, you fucked up. <laughs> well, and then the part that confused me was if I have a remote that says, fast forward until I get a promotion. What happens if you never get a promotion? Yeah. Does it just kill you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or does it just not work? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. They get that. The movie has its problems. But along the same lines as the cobbler, it was just a fun one to watch, and just about a dude that fucking puts on other people's shoes and turns into them. It's just really fucking weird. Uh, what exactly is that movie about? Because I've never seen a preview for it. And was like, man, I've been burned too many times by Adam Sandler. Uh. Basically, dude's dad leaves him and his mom, and he some dude shows up and was like, "Hey, I need these shoes fixed by tonight." And his machine breaks, and he goes downstairs and uses this antique machine that his dad left down in the basement. And the machine has like special powers to where anytime he works on shoes with that machine, if he puts those shoes on, he turns into that person. So it's kind of like a one of those self-discovery movies where he realizes that being himself is better than being all these other people. Oh, God. All right, first of all, the last person I want to be is myself. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm so tired of these movies. And it seems <laughs> like he does this a lot, because, like, I, I believe, uh... Oh, fuck, what was that? That movie about dreams. Oh, God, uh... Where his, like, niece and nephew were, like, making up a, a bedtime story, and that was yeah, really happening story. in his life. Is that the name of the movie? Yeah. I, oh, I should be stories. <laughs> but I say it's like click because it's just the whole the whole movie goes with oh him thinking this is awesome and then at the end realizing this isn't awesome. Yeah, I mean clicks the same way as that too. I'm I'm just saying like it seems like he is putting together quite the catalog over those type of movies. It seems like he, Adam Sandler makes two types of movies now: bad, shitty comedies that are usually romantic in some way. Or a self-discovery type comedy slash movie. I don't know yeah. why I said slash movie. <laughs> it's just a movie. <laughs> yeah, it's it's worth a watch. It wasn't bad. If you've seen a lot of the Adam Sandler shit recently, this one will be amazing. I think that's why I liked it. <laughs> See, it's good. and Steve Buscemi's in it. It's crazy uh, and cool. I remember at the time when the first uh, Grown Ups came out, my boss at the time seen it and he was like no it's horrible it's stupid and then I watched it and I, I laughed my ass off and I'm like dude how did you hate that movie it's hilarious he's like what are you talking about like he's it's horrible and then I'm like oh, you're crazy man that, that movie was awesome and then I watched it like a couple months later and I'm like this isn't good but why did I think this is funny <laughs> like <laughs> like I it's like the second time I realized like all it was was them sitting around fucking making fun of each other and it, it, there was, like, no plot at all. Like, it was just, hey, we're going to go to this cabin because our old coach that just died used to be there or something. Like, once once I, like, the second time I'm viewing it, it, like, okay, the jokes are no longer funny. And now I realize that there's no story, no plot, no, the character development is stupid and worthless. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and it's like, that's all he makes now is those type of movies or, like, this one. Yeah, and it's, it's very, like, the first, I don't know, first 20 minutes, I thought it was going to be, like, an Adam Sandler serious movie. Like, oh, man, he's, like, doing an actual drama, and then the normal shenanigans ensue, and <laughs> you realize I'm watching a fucking Adam Sandler movie. Oh, man. Ever since he's made Billy Madison, all Adam Sandler's comedies are, I'm Billy Madison. 
but in a different role. I mean, okay, for me it started with, uh, I'm not sure which came out first, Mr. Deeds or, or Little Nicky, but one of those two movies, from there on out, I've hated his movies. They've, they've all, like, turned into the same thing. Like, almost literally the same thing. Like, most of his movies, if you realize, like, the ending will be a big thing with a lot of people around. Like, be it a basketball game for, like, grown-ups or, um, uh, even Billy Madison, you know, the end of the movie there where they, uh, his, um, uh, they, they have the final test thing where they have to get up and talk in front of the entire school and then his graduation, stuff like that. Like, it seems like all his movies kind of run along the same kind of, like, study guide in a way. Like, you know, oh, I gotta implement this and implement this. The Cobbler ended with just him and one other person. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, but separate from so those... Weird. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about, like, his goofball movies, like, in, in uh, ang Anger Management, it's in the middle of fucking uh, Yankee Stadium, you know, shit like that. Yeah. And that one where he takes care of the little kid. Big Fuck Daddy? Like yeah, Big Daddy. Yeah, in front of the, the, the whole court and everything. I mean, it just seems like for the most part, they kind of, like, all run the same course. And they just get dumber and dumber, and it always has his friends in it. This one... I think the only person I recognized as his friend was Steve Buscemi, but... I think that was it. Really? It's oh. Got... I mean, yeah, I guess so, like... Uh, Dustin Hoffman in it? Is that who that was? Dustin Hoffman? I think that I'm probably completely wrong. I forget the guy's name. I picture his face. The fuck is that dude's name? He's a known actor. I know that. Yeah, Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, I was right. Dustin Hoffman's in it. It, it saddens me that you can't recognize the, the, the Dustin Hoffman just I don't know on I sight. Use him with. I think Michael Douglas, maybe. I was just. I'm like, Ooh, why? Like, I don't know. Like, what? what, what Douglas. <laughs> yeah, Dustin Hoffman's in it, which kind of caught me off guard. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Dustin Hoffman's in an Adam Sandler movie? <laughs> hey, give it a watch. It's not bad. There's worse things out there than The Cobbler. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I have seen Jack and Jill, so yes, yeah, there I mean, is. This one's be fucking <laughs> Academy Award winning, if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> be like that is a fantastic movie. I'm gonna watch Jack and Jill now to <laughs> to make that a valid God, point. God, no, that movie's so horrible. Uh, and I got Lego Movie fucking sent from Netflix disc, and of course it didn't fucking work. So I canceled Netflix and put your disc don't fucking work. Yeah, fucking tell them. Yeah, reason for not signing up for DVD service anymore, your disc are broke. Yeah, I stopped uh, doing the um, the disc thing uh, because, uh, well, for me it wasn't their disc was broke, but uh, they were pretty prompt with, with the delivery. And I was always picking really old movies, you know, nothing new release at all. And then all of a sudden it was like a two-week wait. And I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I... The only reason I signed up for it was Game of Thrones, but I solved that problem, so. Yeah. Which I tried watching it the way you do, and I couldn't get it to fucking work. I was like, fuck this. Really? Yeah. I was like, I'll just fucking get it off the computer. I don't give a shit. I bet you I know why. Because I tried running it from the laptop, and if you don't have the Google Chrome ad blocker thing installed, it just keeps popping shit up and popping shit up and popping shit up. Hmm. No, uh, well, we'll talk about that later. Um. You catch anything this week? No, uh, I watched a couple of movies. Uh, let me bring up uh, shit. I go, I use letterbox.com now. And, uh, you, you're able to keep a diary of all the movies and stuff that you watch, and when you watch it. So, that helps. Huh. And I'm trying to ruin my login right now. You can also get like a three ring or a note 
people can write down movies. Yeah, this is 2015, not 1987. Or you could also use your computer with notepad. Yeah. <laughs> or your phone's note taker and just say, I just why you use your voice. This is this is 2015, not 2010. <laughs> well, you could record it and then save it in the cloud and go to another device and okay, it's 2015, not 2014, I know, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is becoming an issue. Hey! Hey! Fuck! What's my password? Hey! I told you. All right, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> you watch. Uh, not really. Um. God damn, man. I hate the fucking neighborhood I live in. Um. Did you watch any uh, uh, anything else? <laughs> uh, they have that new like jackass show on the WWE Network called Swerved. Uh, and it's okay. It's actually pretty fucking funny. Is it? Yeah. Um, it made me realize some wrestlers that I. that are. Com are you still there? Hello? Uh, did you get booted? You're still showing up on my team speak. Self-test error. Am I getting booted? I think I got booted. Error. Error. Alright, I seem to have gotten booted. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Error. Uh, shit. Alright, I'm just going to cut the stream here.